Welcome to Dector Corporation. Dector is the only name that invented the PSC and voice stress analysis for lie detection in 1970. Only PSC is the original instrument for voice stress analysis. Only PSC has independent validation studies that use real crimes to prove our training techniques and technology can achieve complete accuracy. Only PSC has been validated by the U.S. government for almost 40 years. And only PSC results have been admitted into court as evidence. Only PSC had a book that was independently published in 1980 that proved the complete validity of Dector's training techniques and the PSC technology. Only PSC's system of voice stress analysis qualifies to the EEOC standards for employment screening for government and law enforcement personnel. There are about 15 imitation voice lie detectors sold today. They claim that they do what the PSC does, but they do not have any studies that prove it only their empty claims. Those imitations use fancy websites or greatly inflated sales figures to fool people into thinking their gadgets are accurate. Those imitation voice lie detectors may have lights, words, or waveforms to show lies. A few have patterns that only look like PSC patterns. None of those imitators have shown any accuracy that has been better than a coin toss. Don't be fooled. There is only one system for voice stress analysis. That system is called PSC, and only Dector invented it and sells it worldwide. Before you watch this short video, please read the sections about PSC, voice stress analysis, and PSC patterns on this website and in the 270-page CD posted on this page. After watching this video, you will be able to see why Dector calls the PSC the easy-to-learn, easy-to-use truth verification system. We will now show you the screenshots and steps of each page of the PSC 7010 program and how easy they are to use. After you download the PSC software from either a CD or a link to your desktop or laptop computer, you will see the PSC icon on your desktop as indicated by the letter A. Before you open the PSC program to use, you must always have the two USB keys plugged into the USB ports. If you do not, the PSC technology will not be complete for use. To open the PSC program, put the cursor on the PSC icon and double left click. The first window that opens says, Welcome to Dector Corporation. It asks if you would like to create a new project, open an existing project, or exit as indicated by the A. You can then decide what you would like to do. If you choose to create a new project, as indicated by the A, please fill in the client's name, then click OK. You are now looking at the home page. You can fill in the subject's name and the name of the PSC operator as indicated by A, and fill in any information about the case in the information box that is indicated by B. After filling in the home page, click the microphone symbol as indicated by C at the top of the page to go to the recording page. At the recording page is where you record the interview, test questions, and the test answers. You are now looking at the recording page. The various recording control functions such as record, play, stop, fast forward, and rewind are indicated by A. By clicking the record button indicated by B, you start the recording of the interview. The average interview session is about two hours long, and for every gigabyte of hard drive space that you have on your computer, you will be able to record about 10 different sessions. All sessions are recorded for various purposes the recording of the subject's answers to be analyzed later for truth or deception. The recording is made to protect everyone's rights against false accusations at a later time. The recording also preserves all confessions made during that interview. PSC has always used a recorder for that protection. All recordings are kept for 10 years for review or for court evidence. Polygraph and other imitation voice lie detectors never have that very important benefit and protection. The raw voice data is indicated by C, and the raw voice data is the unfiltered vocal sounds of the people being recorded. D indicates the suspect's answers to test questions. By clicking on H, the suspect's answers are saved to be filter analyzed at a later time. The PSC has a VU recording meter indicated by E. That is used to be sure the input volume is correct. The saved answer segments of the suspect are listed in this section by the letter F. There is a clock to show the length of time of the recording and is indicated by G and I. After the test is over, 
click the square stop button. Click on the button indicated by J to go to the selection mode page to cut the vocal answers of the suspect, filter them, and store them into the answer boxes. The PSC 7010 automatically filters the raw voice data to make every pattern correct. After you clicked on J, which is the filter button, you will be at the selection mode page to cut the subject's vocal answers from the raw voice data, filter them, and store them into the answer boxes. The various answer boxes are indicated by A. You have a total of 65 answer boxes to store answers. B indicates the box that you can write the questions in. Each answer box has its own functions. By clicking on C, you can listen to the store word, you can delete a pattern from a box by clicking on D. The letter E indicates where you can indicate if the suspect said yes or no as an answer. After each row of answer boxes, you can slide that row of boxes to the left or right by clicking either one of the two arrows indicated by F. By clicking G shows filtered patterns taken from H, the raw voice data. You can delete a pattern from an answer box by clicking the red X, and then you can put another pattern into that box. This screenshot shows you how you can be sure the PSC filtering process is working correctly. By clicking A, the system will do an evaluation. If your system passed, you will see the window B, and the result will be recorded as shown by C. This feature is very important to prove your answers were correct. This screenshot shows that after you have stored all the patterns, by clicking on A will bring you to the compare mode so you can compare all the patterns to each other to pick which one decides if the subject is telling the truth or lying. You can do this by bringing each pattern from the small answer box to a much larger compare boxes that are indicated by B for evaluation. Each pattern can be deleted by clicking the red X and a new pattern can be placed into either of the two large boxes for comparison. This screenshot shows patterns in the two large compare boxes. For each pattern in either of these two large compare boxes, you can do different functions with those patterns. Those commands are shown by the letter A and clicking on B will delete a pattern, Clicking on C will let you hear the pattern, and clicking D will allow you to print the pattern. Also, clicking E will stretch the pattern if the pattern cycles are too close so you can get a better look at the pattern for evaluation. If you want to make a pattern full screen, please click F. This screenshot shows that by clicking A, the pattern will be stretched out for better evaluation. B indicates the pattern is now stretched out for better evaluation. This screenshot shows the pattern full screen by clicking A. You have now seen how easy the PSC software is to use. No complicated manuals to read and learn, no gimmicks, only the functions needed by a skilled PSC examiner to do an accurate and reliable lie detection. The PSC test procedure is a no-stress evaluation. It is only two people talking, no painful attached wires like the 85-year-old polygraph and the 20-year-old computer polygraph machines must use. If you have any questions, please call or email Dector for a private reply. We will answer every question you have and we will help you in whatever business that you own. And remember, the PSC is the answer to all of your lie detection needs.